Right here we have the Kim chamber, which is blue in color, and you find that we can lift up the cover very easily. And if we switch on the vacuum pump, which is attached to the chamber, you find that the pressure of the chamber becomes a negative pressure, meaning that it will be less than the atmospheric pressure. Now what do you think will happen if I were to put a balloon inside the chamber and you notice that the balloon fills up almost the whole of the vacuum chamber while the one outside remains the same size. Now let's repeat the same experiment now with four marshmallows, two inside and two outside the chamber. And let's see what happens Now it is about almost three times the size inside the vacuum chamber compared to the one outside. Now let's stop the vacuum pump and let the air back in. And when we let the air back in, can you see that the increased pressure continue to shrink the marshmallow until it almost looks like a wrinkled shriveled marshmallow. Now this is because the air inside the marshmallow has pushed the marshmallow to become bigger in the vacuum chamber, which has a negative pressure. When it is taken out of the vacuum chamber, the atmospheric pressure will crush it and shiver it until it is much smaller than the original size. Now let's repeat the same experiment with two spoonfuls of whipped cream. And you see it's much bigger now compared to the spoonful of whipped cream outside the vacuum chamber. Now if we let the air back in, you'll find that the sudden rush of air back in will sweep the expanded whipped cream inside the chamber and it almost swept it out of the spoon. Alright, in this experiment, we are going to show slightly different experiment involving negative pressure or pressure lower than atmospheric pressure in a beaker of warm water. You can see that there are some pink copper turnings inside the beaker of water and those are to serve porcelain chips to make bubbles form very easily around the sharp edges of the copper turning. Now we're going to switch on the vacuum pump to create a negative pressure within the chamber. What do you think will happen to the water in the beaker. Can you see slowly, surely, small bubbles are forming. You can see the water now boiling. Now boiling is defined as that temperature at which bubbles appear throughout the whole bulk of the liquid. Now obviously the temperature is below 100 degrees centigrade as when we put in the water, it was not boiling at all. And now because of the negative pressure, bubbles begin to form within the liquid top and therefore we can see that the water is boiling almost furiously throughout the whole liquid.